today we will talk about generations of modern computers that is computers invented in 20th and 21st centuries the computer has evolved from a large sized simple calculating machine to a smaller but much more powerful machine we often refer to the advancements of modern computers as the generation of computers each generation of computer is designed based on a new technological development resulting in better cheaper and smaller computers that are more powerful faster and efficient than their predecessors currently there are five generations of computers we will discuss the generations of computers in terms of the technology used by them computing characteristics physical appearance and their applications the first generation of computers from 1940 to 1956 used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory the input to the computer was through punched cards and paper tapes the output were displayed as printouts the instructions were written in machine language machine language uses zeros and ones for coding of the instructions the first generation computers could solve one problem at a time the computation time was in milliseconds These computers were enormous in size and required a large room for installation. They were used for scientific applications as they were the fastest computing device of their time. The examples of first generation computers are electronic discrete variable automatic computer EDWAC electronic numerical integrator and calculator ENIAC universal automatic computer UNIVAC next came the second generation of computers from 1956 to 1963 in the second generation of computers transistors replaced the vacuum tubes transistors allowed computers to become smaller faster, cheaper, energy efficient and reliable. The second generation computers used magnetic core technology for primary memory. They used magnetic tapes and magnetic disks for secondary storage. The input was still through punched cards and the output using printouts. They used the concept of a stored program where instructions were stored in the memory of a computer the instructions were written using the assembly language high level programming languages such as early versions of cobol and fortran were also developed during this period the computation time was in microseconds transistors are smaller in size compared to vacuum tubes thus the size of the computer was also reduced the cost of commercial production of these computers was very high though less than the first generation computers the transistors had to be assembled manually in second generation computers Examples of second generation computers are PDP-8, IBM 1401, CDC 1604. Then came the third generation of computers from 1964 to 1971. The third generation computers used the integrated circuit IC chips In an IC chip, multiple transistors are placed on a silicon chip. 
Silicon is a type of semiconductor. The use of IC chip increased the speed and the efficiency of the computer, manifold. The keyboard and monitor were used to interact with the third generation computer, instead of the punched card and printouts. The keyboard and the monitor were interfaced through the operating system. Operating system allowed different applications to run at the same time. High-level languages were used extensively for programming instead of machine language and assembly language. The computation time was in nanoseconds. The size of these computers was quite small compared to the second generation computers. Computers became accessible to mass audiences. Computers were produced commercially and were smaller and cheaper than their predecessors. Examples of third generation of computers are PDP-11, IBM 370. The fourth generation of computers from 1971 to present day is marked by the development of the microprocessor. Microprocessor is a chip containing millions of transistors and components and designed using VLSI technology. The Very Large Scale Integration or VLSI technology allows hundreds of thousands of components to be integrated in a small chip. The Intel 4004 chip was the first microprocessor. The components of the computer like Central Processing Unit CPU, and memory were located on a single chip. This generation of computers gave rise to the personal computer PC. Semiconductor memory replaced the earlier magnetic core memory resulting in fast random access to memory. Secondary storage device like magnetic disks became smaller in physical size and larger in capacity. This generation also saw the development of pointing devices like mouse and handheld device. Several new operating systems like the MS-DOS and MS Windows developed during this time. This generation of computers supported graphical user interface GUI. GUI is a user-friendly interface that allows user to interact with the computer via menus and icons. High-level programming languages are used for the writing of programs. The computation time is in picoseconds. They are smaller than the computers of the previous generation. Some can even fit into the palm of the hand. They became widely available for commercial purposes. Personal computers became available to the home user. In 1981, IBM introduced the first computer for home use. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. The technology behind the fifth generation of computers is Artificial Intelligence or AI. It allows computers to behave like humans. It is often seen in programs like voice recognition, area of medicines and entertainment. This generation of computers uses parallel processing that allows several instructions to be executed in parallel instead of serial execution. Parallel processing results in faster processing speed. VLSI technology became ULSI Ultra Large Scale Integration Technology 
resulting in the production of microprocessor chips having 10 million electronic components. This generation also saw the development of input devices like trackpad, touchscreen, pen, speech recognition, light scanner, etc. Fifth generation computers are being developed to address extremely difficult tasks such as understanding natural language. This generation of computers are more powerful and speedy than the other generation of computers. They also have more user-friendly interfaces with multimedia features. The modern computer processors are manufactured with multiple cores like dual-core and quad-core. These computers are more reliable and portable compared to the other generation of computers. They are more compact in size and relatively cheaper than their counterparts. The mainframe computers of this generation are very powerful. Pentium PCs, IBM notebooks, Sun workstations are some examples of this generation computers. Supercomputers like Param 100 and parallel computers like Intel IPSC1 are also 5th generation computers. Alexa, Google Assistant and Siri are kind of machines that accepts commands in voice and derives results according to their commands. Here is the chart showing all the generations of computers. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.